Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brick. Hey everybody, welcome back to our Lego Disney Anna Elsa's Frozen Wonderland number 43194. This is part three. Let's get going. We built this big ice castle. Now we're going to get into booklet number three. Looks like this. Looks like it's going to be some kind of scenery element with slide and telescope. These little snowball guys. Let's sort out bag three and then we'll get into the instructions. Okay guys, the first step that we're going to do is put together our little um, snowman, these little munchkin snowman dudes. I don't know if they're called, maybe they have a name, but I've never heard it. Um, so you get these little um, white minifigure heads, and then there's these little white ball pieces with the printed face on them, and then just going to clip on the top of these minifigure heads, and there you go. Good enough. Like that. We've got three of these guys. We'll set them aside for now. Now we'll go to page eight and nine. We're gonna grab this purple treasure chest. Okay, the treasure chest, guys. If you put these together before you learn to do it on this screen. So you'll see on the treasure chest there's the center of the spike, that's the front, and then the back has this hinge piece. Okay, so the hinge piece is gonna go into these two tiny little holes on the corners there. So basically just hook one end in right there, and then push the other one in together as you put a little pressure in that direction to keep that one in. Put it in place and the door open and closes like that. So then it shows that there's a treasure that we're gonna put in here. <clears throat> it shows that there's two of these clear white diamonds. But I actually got three. So I'm gonna put all three of them in there. And then there's a little golden crown. Put them in there too. That's some pretty cool treasure. I'm gonna close that Don't let anybody steal our treasure. Put that aside. And then on page 10 and open, we've got this big ground plate. It has a rectangle side and a round side, and on the rectangle side, on, let's see, put it like this. Um, we're going to get one of these big, tall rectangles in our clear blue color, and we're going to put it on this back corner, back right-hand corner. Then turn the page to 12 and 13, and we're going to get this big white doorway, and we're going to put the doorway right next to that big, tall, clear blue rectangle, and there is kind of a rounded pillar side that's going to go towards the inside, okay? If you turn around to the back, you have these kind of curly, empty pieces in there, so make sure that that's on the outside edge. Then, get another one of those big top rectangles and put it on this corner, like that. Okay, and go on to the next page. We need these two little blue rectangles, they're one by two wedges, one by two wedge blocks. They're going to go on top of those big, tall, clear blue rectangle pieces, like that, so that they're sliding down the front like that. The taller part is going to line up with the side of that door frame. And then we also need three of these seafoam green um, half pyramid pieces. They're one by two half pyramids. One is going to go right here in the middle, sliding down the front like always, and then one is going to go connecting the door frame to the blue wedge piece like that on each side, sliding down the front like always, and then turn the page to 16 and 17. We have two of these purple flower pieces made there, these three petal flowers. They're going to go on either side up here on top of this doorway arch. That's kind of angling out that. And then, turn page to 18 and 19, we have this 2x2 two two block with a clip off the end. We are going to count one row across here, one row studs, two row studs, and then the third and fourth row in the middle. We're going to put that block, and the clip's going to point down towards the round end. Turn the page to 20 and 21. We get the steep foam green 2x2 two two tiled offset stud. So we go right on top of that 2x2 block. And then we also need this clear blue crystal. This crystal piece is always one of my favorite pieces. I love seeing this. That's going to go right here in the middle, right on that offset stud. <clears throat> and then 22 and 23. Um, on this page, we're going to get this big blue 2 by 8 piece. And we're going to make a little teeter tire. I'll set this aside. Um, let's also get one of these little one by two blocks with the rounded corner cut off. It's gonna go on the very end, like that, so that the square side is on the back. And then we're also gonna get 
another one of these sea foam 2x2 two two tiles with the centered offset stud. Put it right in front of that. And then turn the page. We're going to get two of these white, we called them before in the series, a um, foot clip divider. And we're going to put one right after that tile with the offset stud, like that. So the open side is facing towards that stud. Then you're going to put the other one back to back with it, like that. And then we are going to get another one of those 2x2 two two tiles with the offset stud, and another one of these little blocks with the rounded corner from right on the end, so you're mirror and symmetrical like that, okay? Then, turn the page to 26 and 27, where we're going to grab this blue piece. It's a 2x2 two two plate, and it has clip holes on the bottom. And we're going to stick this right in the middle, like that, so that if you look at it from the side, you can look down through that hole, okay? And flip it back over, and, and 28 and 29, bring this back over. See this little clip right here? It's going to go in this clip hole. Put that into there and you have this little piece of That's fine. Then, put this aside and we're going to make another little playground thing with this other plate. This other big white plate. Uh, hmm. You know, that actually might be a good place to stop. So, next time we'll get into doing this other piece. Um, thanks for joining us, guys. Please give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed our video. And uh, you can check us out on Instagram and also Patreon if you'd like to support us there. Um, the membership there comes with a lot of cool prices. And until next time, we'll see you later.